Hey, thanks for tuning in. We've been using short videos to document the conversion of a London taxi cab over to 100% electric drive. The car will no longer rely on gas or oil for its operation. The cracked engine block and broken transmission have been removed, and the engine bay has now been prepped for a fresh coat of paint. The project came to a grinding halt, however, when I chose Electro Automotive to do my motor adapter. I ended up waiting a whopping five months for these crucial parts. In my previous three conversions, I used manual transmissions, but no clutch, as it's just not needed. This will be my first time doing a vehicle that will retain the use of a clutch. Here's a nice shot of the hub assembly that will connect the electric motor to the pilot shaft of the transmission. sure to have the flywheel in the right place, so we made sure to carefully record that value during disassembly. So the guy who sold me the transmission did a good job stripping some of the aluminum threads. So I had some stainless steel helicoil inserts professionally installed. Once everything is mated together, I like to run the motor and make sure there's no unusual vibration or noise. Well, that's never happened before, and at super low RPMs. I can only assume that removing the ring gear from the flywheel the other week caused an enormous imbalance. Luckily, balancing a flywheel is a commonly offered service in the auto industry. We were glad to learn that the 1990 Mustang transmission seemed to line up nicely in a 1971 British car. With the addition of what's called a slip yoke and some local skilled labor, uh, this might just work out. Not so lucky with the motor mounts. They were too far forward, so I chopped them out and planned to re-weld them in a more ideal spot. In other news, I organized an informal EV show earlier this month, and we were totally flooded with curious folks. It was awesome.